just had breakfast at a cafe over there and things open quite late here, maybe around 10 a.m. So uh, if you're planning to have an early start here at Amnahashi Date, make sure you stock up on some breakfast at like maybe a convenience store. There's no convenience stores here, so uh, bring some stuff from Kyoto if you're coming from there. And right now going to Amnahashi Date, the sandbar area, and I'll see you there. So we made it to the iconic view of Amanohashi Date and Amanohashi Date is one of the Nihon Sanke or the three views of Japan. Uh, if you watch my last video at Itsukushima, uh, this would be another one of those views. And maybe from the pattern, I'm trying to conquer all the uh, views of Japan, so it's quite nice. There's actually surprisingly not a lot of tourists here. I think this is during Golden Week, uh, so I was expecting it to be a lot more crowded, but there was like no line. So Amanohashi Date actually translates to Bridge to Heaven, and this is the famous uh, Mata Nozoki, which translates to um, looking, looking through your legs. So if you look through your legs, you actually can see uh, like a flipped image. So this is the Kawarake Nage, which is pottery throwing. If you throw a like a stone through there, uh, your wish will come true. Actually, one of the main highlights of Amnahashi Date is not just the view, but also this insane chairlift experience. Let's go check it out. Chips. 
So about a 50 minute bus ride away from Amunahashitati Station is Ine uh, Bay Boat Cruise and Ine is famous for Funaya, which is this fishing boat village and it's included as part of the pass, so pretty good deal. So I learned my lesson from the last boat ride and bought some ship chips to feed the seagulls. Yeah, so that was my trip to Amunohashitate and Ine. Definitely recommend doing this trip in one day if you can, because surprisingly most of the activities don't take that long. And even more surprisingly, uh, the restaurants and shops close in the evening. So most people are just chilling in their hotel rooms because there's not a whole lot to do around here. But overall, worthwhile and fun trip and see you in the next one.